What's up YouTube? It's Chris with Murphy Firearms Training. And I was looking at Lee Load All charge tables here. Real basic data that comes with the Lee Load All. And when I first started loading, I didn't understand what these meant. And I wanted to just share something with you guys. Make sure everybody stays safe when they're loading shotguns. Uh, for some of them, it doesn't matter. For some of them, it does. So what I want to show you, just a simple example here, is you got a one ounce shot charge, two and three quarter dram, 1150 FPS equivalent here. Green dot, red dot, 800X, you know, etc. Let's look at, for an example, our green dot data. It says bushing number 148, bushing number 148. This column here on the left is for plastic shells with plastic wad base or no wad base. And this number on the right is for plastic shells with a paper wad base or paper shells. Now for green dot, you notice it's the same number, so it doesn't matter. But let's say we're loading, I don't know, red dot. 155, 163. It's a different bushing. So what I want to talk about, make sure everybody knows, now paper shells are apparent because they're made of paper. And they're also very exceedingly rare. So the chances of you loading paper shells if you're a newbie is pretty slim, at least in the United States. So let's talk about plastic shells with a paper wad base, plastic shells with a plastic wad base, or plastic shells with no wad base. And what I've done is I've taken my handy dandy knife and I have cut open some shells. So this is a federal shell. I'm going to sit it here. And this is a Remington shell. I'm going to sit it here. And this is another federal shell. Now these are all range pickups. I would do some volunteering at some different shotgun ranges. And I'm able to get some range pickups. And what I want to show you guys is the three different shells. And if you take a flashlight and you look down in your shell, it's very apparent. So plastic wad base. You'll see you've got your you'll see you've got your shell, and and for a lot of shells, a colored shell, it'll be a white wad base, and so it's very obvious. But if you've got a clear hull and you've got a wad base, you'll see this ring where this wad base is. Okay, you'll see even in a clear hull, this will be obvious. You'll see this white plastic wad base. So this is a plastic hull with a plastic wad base, and like I said, for a colored hull. This will always be white, and so it really stands out. That is a plastic hole with a plastic wad base. This is a plastic hole with no wad base. Now, what that is, you got a, a in this case black, but it could be black, it could be red, it could be any color. You've got a, a hull, and that same color wraps all the way around. And the way you spot the difference is if you're looking down this one, there's a lip here, and you'll feel something catch on that lip. Whereas this one goes all the way to the bottom, and there's no lip. There's no lip. So this is this whole material folded all the way around to the primer pocket. So this is a plastic hole with no wad base. And then of course, the last one, this is a plastic hole with a paper wad base. And again, you'll have this catch, and it sounds duller because it's paper, and it always is this dark brown paper, and you'll see if you scratch it, it changes colors and a little bit of paper comes out. Whereas if you scratch the plastic one, nothing. And it sounds different. So um, those are your three types of shells. And so just before you load, you need to sort your shells and make sure that if you're picking load data for paper wad base, that all the shells you're loading are paper wad base. If you're picking plastic wad base or no wad base, that you're picking shells like this, okay? And what I like to do is I actually like to load all of my, so if I'm gonna do a batch of 25, I want them all 25 to be this type right here, okay? So when I pick up shells, like if I'm out there and I pick up shells, I'm trying to pick up, you know, several of the same kind, and then that way I use the same load data, boom. So anyway, uh, I hope that helps a little bit. If you're using these very basic Lee charge data, those are your three types other than, like I said, a paper hull, and paper holes are exceedingly rare in the U.S., especially as, as once fired. So, um, But I hope this helps. And guys, I appreciate it. Remember, all of your shotgun loads are maximum loads. So be very, very careful. Do not exceed these loads. Um, and of course, the, the, the Lee data is very, very basic. It just gives you a bushing number and gives you a shot weight. Use that bushing number. Use that shot weight. You're good. If you're using an actual shotgun reloading manual, it doesn't give you a bushing number. It gives you a powder charge. You want to be at or below that powder charge because anything above it is going to exceed your max pressure. So do be careful, guys. Reloading is a lot of fun, but it can be dangerous. If it helps, please give us a like. 
Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. We do appreciate your support. Thank you, guys.